hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is grace so i've been getting a few questions from my followers asking me how i started my business you know when it comes to keeping inventories did i keep inventories or did i not did i do drop shipping how do i manage and run my business so i decided to do this video just to help anybody who is interested and also to answer those questions so to be honest with you guys when i started my business i didn't have a website my business was mainly on social media so i was running it on my instagram page i was running it on my facebook page and also my snapchat so those were the three social media pages that i was running my business on so when i started i didn't really have enough money to invest in keeping a lot of hair in stock so i had to find a plan b which was to work with my vendor closely so fortunately enough i had a vendor who could ship out my hair very quickly so i used to receive hair within five days but one of my vendors, I had to wait about two weeks to receive her just because when I placed the order with them, they had to go ahead and make my orders. So that was taking a kind of longer period of time for me to receive the hair, but that's for my higher grade um, vendor. So when I started, I just used to place the order after the customer placed it and then receive it before shipping it out to my customer. So let me just explain that one more time okay when the customer ordered the hair from me i will go ahead and place an order with my vendor then my vendor will ship the hair to me then i'll ship the hair to my customer so it's like a like a little circle or like a four-way yeah it's like a four-way process it's a it's a four-way process they they order i order he, my vendor ship, I then ship out and that completes my little four-way formula <laughs> but that's how I started doing it so because I knew that I could receive the hair within five days from one vendor and two weeks from the other vendor I just used to do that and I used to wait so I gave my customer like a sort of waiting process in time so I did like a five days um, like a so a uh, five days processing time from the day they order so that means after the five days then they will receive their hair if that makes sense so that's what i used to do and that's what helped me a lot like i i really did enjoy that process because i knew that whenever i ordered the hair it came to me and i would sort of do a quality check and check the hair check the texture check the quality make sure everything was up to standard make sure i'm happy completely happy with that order before packaging it and shipping it out to my customer so i was really hands-on when it came to my business so i'm still i'm still really hands-on like i do everything myself because I just love it like and again I'm a control freak okay I just love doing everything myself because one I once I know that I did it myself I know that I'm satisfied with what I'm putting out there to my customer so that's how I run it for a few years up until I launched my business so before launching my business I had saved up a little bit of money so I decided to launch just a few bundles and closures and funders just to have them in stock in case i had my local customers coming to pay to buy the hair from me or if i just had to ship the hair um quickly to my customer so i remember i ordered about 50 no i think i started with over 50 bundles uh closures and frontals when i first started and I keep um I stock up about four different textures. So I have the straight, the wavy, the kinky curly and the kind of loose up curly hair. So those are the four different textures that I kept in stock. I decided to do two bundles of each length. So for example, my body wave, I kept two bundles of 14 inches two bundles of 16 inches two bundles of 18 inches 
all the way to 26 so each texture had four sorry two bundles of each length so that's what i did and then i did i think i did two um packs of closures as well so i do two of each length and i stopped my closures at 20 then i did the same thing with the frontals but the frontals i believe i ordered like one of each either ordered one of each or ordered two of each so that's what i did when i first made my big order but it wasn't even that much so i just started with that because i again wanted to see what textures what length and texture sell the most so that i could focus on keeping those in stock so so far that worked for me because i did sell out um i did sold out on almost all my order before i even launched the website so i had to go ahead and order some more so don't put too much money at the beginning just start with zero finances don't invest too much money like don't my advice is don't start from zero don't go and borrow money from your family from your friends from the bank from other places just to start your business just start with what you have if you have 500 start with 500 if you have a thousand start with a thousand but invest your money wisely because it's not going to make sense that you buy a thousand you invest a you know a thousand pounds on bundles of hair and then the hair is just sitting you're not even selling you know so that's what i did another thing is you could do drop shipping i'm not really into the drop shipping method but it's a really good idea for when you want to start your business especially when you don't have money as well so from my understanding drop shipping is when your customer orders a hair from you you order the hair from your vendor then your vendor ships the hair directly to your customer so you don't have the pressure of doing all the extra jobs or the extra stuff in between the in between you getting the hair and shipping it to your customer so your vendor will be in charge of doing everything for you so what i mean by that is your vendor is going to take your order is going to package your order in the packaging you want is going to put your 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 flyers your business card your contact information blah 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 they're going to do everything for you and then ship that hair directly to your customer but like i said that just doesn't work for me i just don't trust that i just i have trust issues guys like i just don't trust that the vendor is not gonna put slip in their business card into one of the boxes and then ship it to my to my customer so that they could gain more customers to themselves now i'm not saying that your hair vendor is going to do that but i'm just saying that i just personally don't trust that process and besides i enjoy doing everything myself so if you're interested in job shipping you can also go ahead and use that uh, method it, it's really a good method i'm not going to lie i'm not going to lie it's it's also a very good way of starting off because you just get the time to focus on building your business by marketing by registering your business you know sorting out the legal part of the business while your vendor kind of handles the shipping and packaging for you so yeah it's not so bad so i hope i've answered the questions if you guys have any other questions um please leave those in the description box um I'm not sure what else I could add to that, but yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Okay, bye.